Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about this guy here, and this is a shaker tube. What it actually is, is kind of a more or less self-priming siphon tube. I'm pretty excited to make this video today because I tried to make this video about a year ago and it went really poorly. I will talk about why and I'll insert some footage later that is hilarious. But the general idea of how this works is you put this end down in whatever you want to pump and I use this for gasoline. You put that end in whatever you want to pump into. So I've just got a piece of copper pipe hose clamped onto it so it fits inside uh, car filler necks. And inside the end of this guy here, there's a little check ball. So the way this works is when you push this into a gas can, this check ball comes up and allows the tube to fill. And then when you pull it up, that gas remains in there. You push it down again, it fills some more and fills some more every time. You literally just have a little check ball pump here. And once you get enough fuel in it, it'll start a siphon on its own. And then this ball will just kind of rattle as it's going and it'll just fill your gas can or gas tank or whatever you're trying to put fuel in on its own. These things are great. I'm not sure why I don't see a lot of people using them. Maybe that's just people I know or whatever, but like if you have a boat, these are fantastic because your gas can is almost always higher than the gas can in the boat or the gas tank in the boat. Like if you have a can on the dock, you can just use one of these to just quickly pump gas into it and you don't have to mess around with trying to hold a five gallon can upside down for 20 minutes or mess with funnels or any of that. So these are really great. And just to give you kind of another view of how this works is you put the tube into the can and then pull it up. So you're creating that pump that way. And this is actually kind of one of the drawbacks with one of these and why my video I attempted to begin a year ago failed is I forgot to hit record on the camera. So I'd already pumped out half the can before I hit record. And kind of the golden rule with one of these is once you get it started, you don't stop. And the reason for that is the height of gas in the can is basically equivalent to like a, a piston engine, the stroke of the engine. So the more stroke you have, to fill this thing with fuel, the better it's gonna pump. It'll be a more effective pump with more stroke. And when you get it down really low in the can, it's really hard to get this siphon to restart. So take my advice there. Once you get one of these things started, don't stop it until you're ready to stop pumping fuel out of your vessel. I should also say this particular one came from Harbor Freight, but I doubt it matters where you get them. Walmart sells these, you can get them on Amazon, you probably get them at Tractor Supply. There's really not much to them. I doubt that this hose they come with is actually fuel compatible. It really doesn't matter. It only has gas in it for a few minutes of its life at a time. I've had this one for several years at this point. I use it a few times a year and never given me any trouble. Well, now with the explanation of what this thing is and the basic theory of operation, which is pretty straightforward as you saw, covered, I'm going to go do exactly what I told you guys not to do. I only want to pump about half of this jug into the Escort because this is a hybrid mixture of the old gas from the Mustang plus fresh gas from a few months ago. But I still only want to use about half of it at a time because I'm going to put half in and then I'm going to go fill the car up with fresh gas tomorrow after work to further dilute that older gas. And then I'll take additional fresh gas and top this thing all the way off again. So then the next time the Escort's low on gas, I can just pump this whole jug out. You're going to see me do exactly what I told you not to do, which is I'm going to try and stop this thing, you know, right about here. And I found from experience over the years that just a, like a residential 100 gallon or 150 gallon or whatever these size trash toters are, is just perfect to put a gas can on top of to get a good siphon going into a car. And this is even tall enough to work pretty well on the Jeep and everything else. That's going to be our basic test setup here. The first step of that process is just to insert the copper pipe into the fuel filler. And then there's not really a whole lot more to it than but to do it. Stuff her in, and quicker is faster. Just shake it up and down. And we got our siphon going. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that ball rattle or not, but she's running. Now the trick is just to monitor it to stop it when I want. And to stop it, all you do is just lift the tube out of the jug. It's going to go by weight. That's still pretty heavy. And yeah, you can see when you do this properly, it's pretty straightforward on a full can anyway. It's super simple to do. But like I said, you just don't want to stop it and try and start again. Yep, that's about half. We're just going to pull her on out. Now comes the messy part. You just want to pick this up to finish draining the fuel out into the vehicle. When you're all done, 
just chuck it out somewhere where it won't be a hazard while the remaining fuel evaporates and that's really all there is to it. And just for fun, I threw a light behind the gas can so you can just see how close we got to our halfway point and pretty much perfect. I'm happy that we got there. It was pretty much up to here before, so that's pretty close. Like I've said a bunch of times, you don't want to try and use a siphon tube with one of these about half full. It's just going to be a nightmare to start because you've effectively cut the stroke of the pump in half. Finally. So it's, this is no good. So I'll fill this back up before I go to use it again. That's uh, just one of those things that's kind of a drawback. But of course now, if you ever were in the position where you wanted to stop pumping, you know, your fuel tank was full or whatever, and you had a can like this and you didn't want to top it off, at least now this can weighs half as much as a full one if you do need to actually hold on to it and dump it into the filler spout or whatever on the thing you're filling. That's pretty much all there is to it. In short, these things are just freaking fantastic. If you have a boat or an ATV or other power equipment, stuff like that that you're constantly pouring gas into out of a can, you know, all summer long or all winter long or whatever, this is definitely worth your time to invest in. And I think as this one's outfitted, including, you know, the 18 inches of copper tube, this is all probably less than 10 bucks. And I'll try and link one in the description for you. As always, guys, appreciate you stopping by, and we'll catch you on the next one. I'm Max, that's Saddington Bear, and we make videos like this all the time. Here are a couple links to some other videos we've made, and we really appreciate you guys stopping in.